Welcome to Beverly Hills. And yes, Beverly Hills is beautiful. I'm right in front of Julian's auction and this weekend they're gonna have like a big auction of all the movie memorabilia from all different kinds of movies and a lot of different stuff. I really, really love stuff like this, but most of the time I can't afford the stuff they're selling. It's like thousands and thousands of dollars, but at least we can look, right? Let's go check it out. Julian's Auction House, Hollywood's classic and contemporary celebrating the 100 year of pop culture history. That's what it's called. This is actually the Julian auction book. They have like 1100 something things for sale. They're all listed right here with the pictures and the description. There's even more stuff from Castaway right here, the shoes and some other things. See, those are the shoes he was wearing. White star. I mean, this is pretty cool to own. This is from Breaking Bad. I just showed you that. Pants from different shows. This is what I like to see, the matchup when they were using it in the movies. Where's the Arnold stuff? Are you kidding me? This is the original suit from Vince Vega from Pulp Fiction, John Travolta. I mean, where else do you have a chance to see this? This is the original suit John Travolta was wearing. He looks pretty small though. Vince Vega suit from John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. Comes with a document and it's supposed to go for $25,000 to $45,000. Look at the disco ball, Saturday Night Fever, John Travolta. And this is his suit, the one he was wearing. Where do they get all that stuff and how come they're selling it right now? I just saw a guy scanning this little thing right here and people are betting on it already. So far it's going for $150,000. Look how small his waist is. John Travolta in his heydays. I would love to know if John Travolta would buy his own suit back after all those years. That's how his career started. How cool would it be if he actually bought it? They got those little minion statues that were standing outside the movie theater when they had the premiere. I don't have to tell you what that is. You already know, right? Man in Black, Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith, also the original suit. I didn't realize in the movie that they weren't like yellowish shirts. Maybe it just faded away. But how often you have the chance to see something original like this. And I don't know how much those go for right now, but you can actually bid online too. Tomorrow they're gonna have like all people sitting right here where people bet from all over the world. I mean, this is probably Will Smith, Tommy Jones. I don't know. They look pretty much the same to me. Kung Fu Panda, that's the GIV. Harry Potter's cape and the prisoner from Azkaban. You can buy those at the Universal Studios too. I mean, this is also the original one, but you can't really tell the difference. Sometimes it's enough if you buy a fake one. I'm not really that interested in Harry Potter, but they got those magic sticks here as well. The magic stick from Lord Voldemort. And another one. Also, you can buy those at the Universal Studios. I mean, it also comes with a certificate of authenticity. It's supposed to go between $3,000 and $5,000. It would be cool if they really work, right? Then I would pay $5,000 for it. I'm not sure what you call this, but I think it's from Star Wars, but I'm not sure. I never seen this one before here. The Incredible Hulk, you can buy that statue. That would look good in your living room too, right? It would scare you too at night. The Iron Man hand and helmet. Wow, I like how it's kind of like, has like scratches on there. Nice. The X-Men suit from The Professor. Nah, not interested. Hugh Hackman's claws from Wolverine comes with the CD. And another helmet from the Avengers. A prop helmet from Captain America. They got those little projectiles. 
the gun I think was used in Iron Man. Everything sells. This goes for $3,300, but it doesn't mean they sell it for that. Could be way more expensive. Another Iron Man helmet. So I was here for the Betty White auction. And what they do is they have the item on the TV right here. And then the guy is bidding. 275, 75, 40, 30, 3, 3, 75, 74, 40, 70, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, 74. And then people betting. And then when it closed, he hits it, boom, sold. What? This is the sword from Conan the Barbarian. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Man, it looks so small. In the movie, it looks so big. A hatchet from the Battle of the Winterfall. They're selling some of the original drawings. This is like a storyboard. Look at those really detailed knives. Whoa. Sergeant Barnes outfit from Platoon. That was a good movie too, but I don't remember the sergeant. Here you can see the apparatus the guy was wearing for Alien. And I think they got the whole apparatus right here. It's metal. Would you like to have some of those? I think this one looks really cool. This is from the first Pepsi commercial after the movie came out. E.T. Phone home. Star Wars from New Hope. Nice outfit. They got some lightsaber. All different kinds. You can see all this stuff at the Comic Con. But of course, those are the original ones. Those are little sticks from the Ewoks. Remember those little teddy bear looking like there's a shield. Those are gloves from the Mandalorian, his helmet. And some more gloves from Stormtroopers, I think. More Harry Potter stuff. I mean, there's people that are going crazy about this stuff here. They got some coins. It doesn't really look like a Madame Tussauds statue, but it looks pretty good. John Vick, I just saw part four with Louis in the movie theater, and I was like three hours just shooting. I think he shot more people and killed more people than Rambo and the Terminator and everybody else together. It's unbelievable. I mean, I didn't really enjoy the movie at all. It was a lot of action, but after like 20 minutes, all action, it's got a little bit boring for me, but this is his suit. I think Keanu Reeves is a really cool guy. But like I said, John Vick, four. I want the three hours back I spent in the movie theater. And this is also a gun from John Vick. This is his real size. He's actually taller than me, and he looks pretty wide in his shoulders. John Vick. Tom Hanks' uniform from Forrest Gump when he was in the military. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. <laughs> That's so cool. And there is Lieutenant Dane in the wheelchair. His cap and his whole outfit. Original stuff from Breaking Bad. This was Walter White's outfit from Breaking Bad. The jacket and the shirt. That was his outfit when he was mixing the drugs together, remember? And this is called Cousin Soul, the lawyer's outfit. Jesse Pinkman's yellow glove from Breaking Bad. A cap from White Star Line and a White Star Line shirt from the movie Titanic. And this is Mark Wahlberg's outfit. Uh, looks like a, a uniform from Germany, I believe. But look at this. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. This is the original outfit Arnold Schwarzenegger was wearing as the Terminator. Oh, I would love to have that one. I think his pants would actually fit me. And there he is. You can buy his broken sunglasses. I remember that scene. And you can buy his gloves. Dude, this is fantastic. Arnold, I really would like to have the glasses. Man, this is, I can't, I can't, I, I, I didn't know what to say. I was like, oh wow. 
The outfit from Terminator. This outfit changed my whole life. I would love to have that one. I wonder how much that one goes for. Terminator 3, Rising of the Machine, it says that everything comes together. The jacket, the t-shirt, the hat, the gloves, and the glasses. Approximately 10 to 20,000. I don't think that's the right price. I think I would pay $10,000 for that, all this stuff. Of course, I had to take a picture with Arnold here, a selfie. Arnold, you look good. The Terminator Dark Fate. This is a prop from the movie. It's like a bomb. And this is one of those little skulls from Terminator. The bullet holes from the T-1000. And this is Arnold Schwarzenegger's hand a prop of it wow when they're filming they have one of those cards that says mission impossible on it the man in the iron mask it's one of those masquerades masks tom hanks chuck nolan shoes i think it's from the movie castaway that's the one he was wearing on the beach when he was talking to wilson the basketball uh, the volleyball and there we got a head signed by hugh heckman What is that? Jack Slayer from Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. It's just a belt, I believe. It's from The Last Action Hero. That movie didn't really do too good. The shoes from Hellboy. And this is Will Smith as a superhero, Hancock. Those look pretty cool, all dirty. And what we got here? This is from Crete. It's like the boxing belt of Michael B. Jordan. An original hoverboard from Back to the Future in part number two. I mean, I've seen so many of them. They probably made like 10, 15 or 20 of them. They say it's an original one, but I've seen it in the Hollywood Museum. And then uh, a lot of people, I think Michael J. Fox has one and then some other people. So I don't know how many they made, but I've seen a lot of those, but still really cool. I got a replica as well. You can buy those. It's still nice to see. It says here in the book, the hoverboard is selling for sixty to $80,000. Wow. I always have a hard time pronouncing it. Mortal Kombat, I think that's how you pronounce it. But that's, that's right, right? I did a good job. I think it's from Tyrone Viggins. The original suit from Sprengler from Ghostbusters. Wow. And they do have some more little things from the movie here, Ghostbusters. They got this little crown here. This is from the Pirate of the Caribbean. Also this necklace. And those are some gold coins from the Goonies. What? I just want to do a shout out to my Ghostbuster friends in Germany. The original suit, unbelievable, huh? I love stuff like this. And I got my Grateful Dead shirt on today. I can't remember seeing this thing in his outfit in the movies. I don't know what that is. Those are the original prison shoes Nicolas Cage was wearing in Face Off. I don't really remember. Oh yeah, now I remember that scene. Okay, yeah. Those are his shoes he was wearing. Where's this little box from here? From Dracula. What? They got a script from Kill Bill here. Signed. James Bond poker chips. This is a German gun James Bond used. It's a Walter PPK, Walter PPK. And this is his ID, James Bond, Secret Service. Got a gun here. Where's this piece from? That's from Matt Damon. Look at all those guns here. The Taser from Starfleet. I don't even know that one. Sylvester Stallone. Judd Strat. Yeah, Stallone was holding this gun in his hand. And to the right here, Denise Richards. Use this gun. I mean, they got a whole bunch of different genres. This is actually Liz Taylor's outfit, all lime green. 
This tailor was wearing this. Elizabeth Taylor's jewelry, earrings, Carol Burnett's dress from the Carol Burnett show. Those are all props from the Goonies. Little coins from One Eyed Willie. It's like a treasure coin. The Golden Globe Award. What is this? Space balls. Richard Pryor signature. This is Chris Farley's watch. Look how small this is. He was wearing this on David Letterman show. Steve Martin Award. I mean, they have all different stuff here from Dynasty, Script. Tom Selleck was wearing that ring in Magnum PI. Larry Heckman from Dallas signed those JR beer cans. Picture of Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta signed by both of them. What? This is a 1949 Fairmont High School signed by James Dean. The yearbook. Can't believe it. That's a signature here, James Dean. Wow, that's probably going to go for a lot of money. Natalie Wood signed this in 1972. It's like a registration booklet. What would be your favorite thing to own of all the things you've seen here? For me, definitely the Arnold Schwarzenegger outfit. Original front desk clock from the Ambassador Hotel. Guess whose this is? Yep, Elizabeth Taylor's cape. She loved green, huh? Humphrey Bogart signed this $1 bill. I bet it's worth more than $1 now. I can't believe this still exists. This is Bella Lugosi's um, Screen Actor Guild card. And right underneath, you see his signature, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy. Dick und Dove. Man. Just remember that day when he signed it. And now we're looking at it here. It's actually a nice S he's signing. Got some nice handwriting. Or penmanship, they call it. Hal Roach gifted this watch to Stan Laurel. And I think he engraved it in the inside. Stan Laurel was wearing that watch. Look how old this looks. I think my grandpa has watches like this. Right next to it is one of Betty White's rings. This can't be true. From 1959, starring Charlton Heston in Ben Hoare. Wow. Shirley Temple signed picture. Ach du Liebe, meine Güte, schau mal, was hier ist. Das ist ein deutscher Führerschein. And this is where you can drive the car in all those countries. This is a German driver's license. And guess who got this? Rock Hudson was driving in Germany, I believe. Truman Capote, birth certificate. The comedian actor Jerry Lewis, his last American passport. I mean, he had it in his hand, carried it with him. Marilyn Monroe's swimsuit. I mean, it looks more like a Playboy bunny outfit. And on the bottom, you actually see a framed picture of Marilyn Monroe, Norma Jean. And it's actually signed by her. Original signature. Yep. Hollywood is a place where they pay thousands of dollars for a kiss and 50 cents for your soul. Do not sell your soul for 50 cents. At least charge a dollar. A Marilyn Monroe record. And this is what Cleopatra was wearing in the movie Cleopatra. Same thing here. This is a Marilyn Monroe picture. She signed it for Linda. Marilyn Monroe. Beautiful. Marilyn Monroe signed JF Kennedy's birthday card. There's a whole bunch of different people signed it. It's hard to make out who it is. But one of those signatures is Marilyn Monroe's. From the movie Bohemi Rhapsody. Freddie Mercury's outfit from the movie. 
Daniel Craig 007 stunt suit. I don't know why it's a stunt suit, but he was wearing it in the movie 007. Warren Beatty's watch from Dick Tracy. I don't have to tell you who was wearing this outfit, right? Of course, Dick Tracy, a yellow coat. Who would wear a yellow coat? It looks all very clean. Yeah, Warren Beatty was wearing that one. Dick Tracy's trench coat goes for twenty to $30,000. I mean, I think they have something like that at the Universal Studios where you can sit down and take a picture with the Simpsons. That was just a promotion thing they used for something. The original shop display from the Walt Disney Studios. I mean, probably Walt Disney touched all those drawers. Remember the nanny Fran Drescher? <laughs> she had this really, really weird noise. That's, that's her outfit right here. And more a little bit Taylor stuff. Nice butterfly though. I don't even have to tell you who this belongs to. It's probably something that did not sell last time. This is Betty White's jacket. This is Elizabeth Taylor's colored bodysuit from Cleopatra. Hmm. And look, Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis and Marilyn Monroe. Greta Garbo's original painting. She painted that. I mean, there's people that pay money for everything. I believe Arnold Schwarzenegger, his old church, he just throws away. I don't think he gives them to Goodwill or something. I don't know. But people would pay money for all that stuff. The only thing is, when you collect all your stuff, one day you're going to be dead and what's going to happen to your whole collection? It's going to be gone. Somebody else is going to get it. Well, this is something I would definitely would like to own. This is Robin 3 Magnum PI's license plate. Pretty cool. I mean, I got this license plate from Hawaii with the Hawaiian head on it and the Aloha state, but that would be nice. I love looking at this. I can't get over it. I can look at it the whole time here. I have to apologize for all the music in the background. I have to constantly talk. Otherwise, I'm going to get like a copyright strike. And that's why I keep talking, talking, talking. The music is too loud in here. I wish it would be nice and quiet, but that's how it is. Tomorrow, the auction is going to be quieter. You only hear the guy. This is not even on display. John Wayne's suit. Elizabeth Taylor's outfit. And her clown costume. Those are all things you have to actually bid online. They're not here. They're selling the necklace from the heart of the ocean. They say an estimated one to two thousand dollars, but I think it's gonna go for way more. The iconic sword from Indiana Jones. And if you ask for it, they actually give you two of those books. All the items are listed in here. So when I go home, I'm gonna check it out and see what else is there. I love stuff like this. You all know that already. I'm glad I got those two books here. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the Julian Auction House in Beverly Hills. This was fantastic. I had a great time just coming here, looking at all the stuff here. This is a suit. One more time. Just amazing, incredible. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back the next time. Get into the chopper. See you guys. Tschüssink.